when I tell someone I'm asexual, the first question I get is, Well, what does that mean? So I tell them, asexual folks don't experience or rarely experience sexual attraction. There's a moment, they think about it a little, and the next question is, Well, what does that mean? Asexuality can be confusing. It's confusing for non-ace folks. It's confusing for ace folks. It can be confusing because sex and attraction are hard to pin down. But we're going to give it a shot on Ace Camp. Oh, God, I don't even know where to begin. So part of what makes sex and attraction confusing is the way we think about sex and attraction culturally. We think about sex and attraction culturally as being all mixed up together, everything being interconnected. We look at it culturally as though they are symbiotic, that you can't have one without the other. What this leads to is a belief that any feeling of interest is the same thing. If someone is cute, that means you want to have sex with them. And you probably will be able to emotionally connect with them, and that means there's a potential for you to date or marry them. See the problem? In reality, attraction isn't just one thing. It's many things. There are many different ways to be attracted to a person, and all of those attractions work independently. You can think someone's cute, but not be attracted to them sexually. You can want to have sex with someone, but have no romantic interest in them at all. You can have deep romantic feelings about someone, but not be sexually attracted to them. This big picture cultural misconception is what makes asexuality so confusing to some people. When we say, I don't experience sexual attraction, what they hear is, I'm not attracted to anything ever for all time. And that's just not true. Asexual folks don't experience one kind of attraction. That's it. We can and often do experience plenty of the others. So let's go a little deeper. What is sexual attraction anyway? Look, I'm asexual. I don't know what sexual attraction feels like. I've never felt it. Or to put it another way, sexual attraction is that innate feeling of finding a person sexually appealing in a way that makes you want to have sex with them. The key part here is innate. It's not something you choose. It's something that you're built with. Think of it like your factory settings. And those factory settings, when it comes to sexual attraction, determine your sexual orientation. So heterosexual, homosexual, pansexual, bisexual, all of the sexual orientations. For asexual people, because that's my people, that innate feeling doesn't exist, or it only exists sometimes under certain conditions. So what for allosexual people, that's people who do experience sexual attraction, is an everyday feeling for asexual people, it's completely foreign. Now this is not to say that asexual people never have sex. Some asexual people do, some have a lot of it, but that's kind of like asexuality graduate school, that's another video for another time. Now this lack of sexual attraction doesn't mean that asexual folks experience no attraction ever. There are a lot of other attractions that asexual folks can experience. Here are some of them. Asexual folks can experience romantic attraction, the innate feeling of finding a person romantically appealing and wanting to experience romance with them. Aesthetic attraction, finding the way someone looks or the way they present themselves appealing. Emotional attraction, the desire to get to know someone for their personality or their spirit. Sensual attraction, a desire to engage in non-sexual physical touch with someone, and plenty of others. For an asexual person, all of these attractions are possible without experience sexual attraction. So asexual people can have fulfilling romantic relationships. They can enjoy cuddling and holding and touching. They can enjoy deep emotional connections with someone. All of those things are possible. Ace folks can experience the full range of human connection outside of sex. So, what have we learned? There is more than one kind of attraction. Different attractions work independently of each other. Sexual attraction is innate. It's like your factory settings. Asexual folks can experience all of the other kinds of attractions without experiencing sexual attraction. Well, there you go. That's Ace Camp on sexual attraction. And you aced it.
Oh God, I'm sorry. You're never gonna get rid of the dad jokes here. Sorry, not sorry. Hey, thanks for supporting the channel. Happy that you are here. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the bell, do all the things one does on YouTube so that I can see you back here at the next video. See you then.